Hey guys, so iPad OS 16 came out recently and today we'll be reviewing it on the iPad Mini 6. So first off, when we go to the lock screen, you can see that the text up here is a lot bigger. Now what I find strange is that they don't allow you to add widgets just like on the iPhone and they also don't allow you to change up the wallpapers. You can see that if I try to hold on the home screen on the iPad, it won't allow me to do anything. And if you unlock the iPad, you'll see that there's now going to be a new app on it called the weather app. They had this on the iPhone, but they never had it on the iPad, so the only way to have it before was to have it as a widget, or you'd have to get a third-party weather app, and Apple actually added another app in iOS 16, and that is the activity app. And this app was only available on the iPhones before when you had your Apple Watch connected, but it's now available on the iPad. And when you open your contacts, you'll see that there's going to be new features, like you could hold on the contact to delete it, and also you could share your contacts onto email by holding on it and open the mail app and then you can drag it into here and now you can see that it'll be added to my email and when you go back into your contacts you'll see that there's going to be more features like for example there's now lists over here and you can add one by pressing on add list and over here you can emit whatever you like and once you're finished just tap on it and press on add contacts and over here you can emit whatever you like and press on done and you could actually delete a list by swiping left on it and then you could press on the trash can and press on delete and now the list will be removed and apple actually did something similar with podcasts so now if you open podcasts you can see that you can now customize the list by pressing on edit and you can press on the check marks to remove them and you could reorganize them to how you want it to and once you're finished press on done and now you can see that the list will now be reorganized and Apple also updated notes so now everything's organized by when it was made and if you press on the three dots at the top right corner then there's an option to find and replace and when you do that you can just type in whatever you want and you can have it replaced to any other text and Apple finally added the ability to undo text messages and to do it go ahead and open iMessage and once you've done that, just hold on a text message and press on undo send. And once you've done that, you can see that the text message will be removed. And you could also edit a text message by holding on it. And once you've done that, just press on edit. And over here, you could edit the text message to whatever you like. And once you're finished, just press on the check mark. And now you can see that your text message will be edited. And just make sure that the other person you're texting is using iOS 16, because if they're not, then the changes you're making to your text messages will not apply for them. And Apple now allows you to undo and redo anything that you write out on the iPad simply by clicking on the arrows right above the iPad keyboard. And they also updated the settings. So now if you open the settings and you press on the Wi-Fi and you press on your Wi-Fi info, then you could easily share your Wi-Fi password by tapping on it and then type in your passcode. And once you've done that, you can see that there's an option to copy it. Then just press on the copy. And by doing that, you could easily send it to someone through text messages. And if you have your AirPods connected, then you'll see that there's going to be a new option for it in settings. So now you could just edit it through here without having to go to Bluetooth every single time and tapping on info. And Apple also updated the shortcuts app. So now at the bottom, you can see that there's an option for app shortcuts. And Apple also allows you to look at the shortcuts in a list view. So if you press on the four boxes over here and you press on a list, then you can see that all the shortcuts over here will be in a list view. And if you open the mail app, you can see that if you swipe right, there's going to be an option to remind you when you want to see the email. And Apple also allows you to schedule emails. So if you hold on the send button, then you can select when you want the email to be sent. And Apple also added a new feature in reminders. So now if you hold on a reminder, you could press on pin and now the reminder will be pinned. And you could also now save a reminder as a template by pressing on the three dots at the top right corner and press on save as template. And once you've done that, you can change the name to whatever you like. And once you're finished, just press on save. And now it'll be set as a template. Now that is it for the iPad OS 16 review. If iPad OS 16 isn't out at the time you're watching this, then you can download it by watching the video that's in the description.